What do you need, Milo? What do you need? Yeah, but we just don't like, I just don't like people that just drop in. Because we have set appointments and we have guests. We have like groups for like children with autism. Sometimes we have groups for people that are in recovery. Um, it is an awesome place. It's a very, very special place. And we love visitors. We just like them to announce themselves. Where is Oscar with the wheels? Wait, Jason rolled him. Jason rolled him out to the field. So we can go out and see him. He's rolled out to the field today. You cheeky bugger, Cindy. Cindy's a cheeky bugger. Oh, there's bees. Why is that one sheep partly shaved? So she's a no shear sheep, she sheds. She's a no shear sheep, she sheds. She just didn't shed that great this year. These are sheer sheep. This is lovely. She gets sheared in May. Lovely. And Taffy, he gets sheared. She's a no shear sheep, she sheds. And then the birds make nests out of her wool. You love my leggings? Aren't they great? I'm all like rainbow up today. I'm rainbowed up today. I feel like you got a little bite. Thank you so much for the iced coffee, Catherine. Rebecca, thank you for the October. Um, it's, I think it's one of the Rita's making the noise. They're picking up little bits of corn, if you're wondering. What are they eating? They're picking up little tiny bits of corn. User Lola, Lolo, thank you for the roses. I love all my animals too. They're pretty special. They all get along really well because we just kind of got them. Um, they just all came to us perfectly timed. Most of them are little rescues, but not all of them, not all of them. Lovely's a rescue. The sheep are all rescues. I just realized that. We're a rescue sheep farm. <laughs> I love sheep, by the way. If I could just sit on a hill and cry wolf, cause that's, I'd get bored. So I'd have to cry wolf, but I could look after sheep. Goats are, goats are bad. Goats run away and goats want to lay in your lap. Like this guy will want to lay in my lap. It's just so awful. Do you know how awful it is to want, have a baby goat? like always wanting to lay on you. <laughs> it's pretty special. Hello, Shelly, can I? Sure you can. Pickles, Pickles, someone wants to see you. Pickles, where are you? <laughs> there you are. Here's a little piece of corn. Look, you missed it. Here. 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 Oh, thank you, Lolo, for the flowers. What are you doing, Mama? What are you doing, Mama? I don't, she's never been a Mama, but I just feel like she's a mother. 
She's very motherly. See, there's her wool. She also has a tail that's long, which is, she's fat. Oh, we feed them very well. I said the, I said the F word. I apologize, we do not say the F word here. We do not fat shame. I think in farming, it's like to say you're fattening up your animals. I think it's acceptable. I think it's the one place we can go, oh, they're nice and fat. Look at that good old fat pig. I think. I don't think, I don't think the pigs care. Hey, Molly, Molly, nice gut. I think, look, she doesn't mind. Happy as a piggy. What? No, I'm, I'm unfat shaming. I'm making fat fun. <laughs> That's good. Shelly, making fat fun. I, I don't think so. If you're just joining, uh, I am a woman having a midlife crisis who uh, moved to the country and started a little farm with her husband who is clearly codependent and would do anything to make his wife happy because he's in his 50s and that's what men do. <laughs> I'm a borderline boomer. I'm just on the cusp of the millennials wanting to kick, kick me over the cliff. Did you just headbutt a pig? Hi, Lori. What, people are talking about a movie? And I, what? Hey, Carrie, best midlife cry, oh, okay. <laughs> It is good. It is good, guys. I, I really want to say, oh, I love, a bee! <laughs> Sorry, I just saw that October and then a bee landed on me. I am a, I'm like a child around bees. Like, you know that movie, um, My Girl? Traumatized me. Hello, California, I gotta move, bees. I gotta move, there's bees! There's bees! <laughs> he ate them. Who wants to go for a walk? Who wants to go for a walk? Come on, Pickles! Come on, let's go in the forest. Hello, California. Hello, Massachusetts. I don't, oh, I don't know what that meant. Good morning, Rosemary. Rose, are you coming? Hawaii girl, thank you. Thank you for the October. There's my husband. He's just moving shit around. So basically what you do at a farm is you insert all that hay into their body by letting them just eat it. And then the next day you go and you shovel all of what they've eaten into that and you put it over there. And then you just do that every day. It's like you just feed. You wanna come for a walk, Mark? Come on, Pickles. this way. Taffy, not that way. No, we're going for a walk that way. Puddles! Who's coming? Puddles! Th 
This way. Not that way. No. No. Not that way. Not that way. <laughs> Does my husband rake all the leaves? Yeah, he'll um he'll spend about oh probably six months raking these leaves. That's eight hours a day. That someone asked if you rake all these leaves. Oh God, no. <laughs> Hello, Cindy. Yeah. Get your rake. If you're, oh my gosh, Rex, thank you for that beautiful hand heart. Who's, who's putting fire? Fire well, in the Oscar forest. An orange and a carrot. Oh, you did. Where is Oscar? He's coming. Can you, can you run? Can you run in there? Can I run? Like run. No, I'm not running there. <laughs> can you run there? <laughs> I did, I'll trip. I just want, I want to see him run. Make Oscar run. Oh, he's... <laughs> you got to run! Woohoo! He's not running! You got to run! <laughs> Thank you for the duck. Yeah, I'm coming! Is that all you brought for him? His eyes are coming out of his head. So Oscar really likes carrots, but what's his favorite food? Oscar loves carrots. They're nice and sweet. But does anybody know what Oscar's favorite, favorite food is? Oscar's a Holstein steer. He's four and a half years old. He's lived with us since he was two days old. Everybody's saying oranges. Well. Wow. Apples. It is. Oranges. Let's see how long you can make his tongue come out. <laughs> okay, there you go, buddy. There you go. Good Thank day. you for the popcorn. He loves oranges. He just had a big orange. Thank you, Simone. Am I still getting service here? Are you? If you're just joining, this is our farm sanctuary here in Nova Scotia, Canada. This is my wonderful husband, Jason. Hi, Jason. Hi, baby. Jason and I have been building this little um, wellness place, place of wellness for the last five years. Five years. And I've only been on TikTok, TikTok or whatever the freak, TikTok for three months. And I've just... I've been having fun. Generally, people are pretty nice. And I just think it's really lovely for people's mental wellness to just see how animals sort of are in, in, the, in a really conducive, I don't know what that word means. Um, I'm gonna use words, big words, just so I sound smart. Thank you for the, the star. Oscar's going up for a walk. Sheep are already gone, I assume? The sheep went the other way. Well, at least they come back. You're starting to see our view. Uh, we, this, we're on 10 acres. Look at this river. Like pretty soon, guys, you'll get to see the whole view. Guys and gals and I hear a big truck on the other side of the river. Yeah, they're doing that garage thing. 
Hi, Oscar. Hi, Oscar. It is very beautiful. When we moved here, weird question, but how come some cows have horns and some don't? It's, that's a very, I think that's a great question. Um, and a lot of misconceptions about horns. Uh, females have horns as, as well as males in this breed. And now they are actually breeding animals or cattle, bovine, with no horns. But if a baby is born with horns and they don't want them, then when Oscar would have been a day old, they put like a paste. Or rods. Or what, honey? Hot rods. It's called debudding. It's called debudding. So to stop the growth of their horns. It stops the growth of their horns. But we didn't want, we wanted Oscar to have his horns for many reasons. Uh, it releases the heat in the winter. It's his useful tool to forage the trees. These trees, he's foraged this whole forest and which is great because they were all saplings. So it's kind of like weeding the forest. So these big, majestic, hundreds of year old trees can flourish. So he, and it also protects him. He can, he could take on a coyote if it ever came. He could take on a, Mama G, thank you for the, for the star. He's gonna show you a little horn work. He's been trying to off this tree for three months. Um, a few things of interest about cows. They only sleep about four and a half hours a day. Oscar is generally bred for uh, dairy, but when they have a boy cow, they use them for veal. So Oscar would only live on a farm normally for five days. But we got Oscar, what? Or they grow them for five months and then take them to market. So not necessarily veal all the time. What's she yelling at up there? I think one of the sheep is alone. That sounds like sweetie. No, that's totally taffy. Yeah. Oh no, maybe it's sweetie. You'd know more than me. Um, Oscar can live till he's 20 years old. He's four and a half right now. And I've had him since he was two days old. His mother died during his birthing. And I went to the farm and picked him up with Jason. And we brought him home in a minivan. And now he's probably about 1,500 pounds. And he'll live forever with us. Forever and ever, Oscar. He's, he's a male, he's a male, he's a steer. So he's a castrated bull. You know what, these leaves are just everything. They're not only the fertilizer, they're the animals eat them, Oscar eats them. They are a great fertilizer. They keep uh, the moisture in the ground over the winter. It's just an incredible property. This property is Mi'kmaq land. I'm on Mi'kmaq land. I uh, don't believe anybody owns land. I believe we are stewards of the land. And it's my responsibility to love, nurture, celebrate it, share it. And that's what we do here. We are a wellness farm where folks come to visit and spend some time in a therapeutic setting We've partnered with uh, programs like Nova Scotia Autism, uh, Family Services, youth programs, colleges, schools, and we have groups that come out for a visit and they get to take a walk in the forest. They get to get up close with Oscar. We bring him in the barn and we're in Nova Scotia, Canada.
It, that's good. Uh, usually, listen to this information. Usually veal calves are 16 to 18 weeks and 450 pounds. People always think they are called young. That if you're going to that is correct information if you're going to use them if you're a veal farmer, right? But if you're a dairy farmer, you ain't keeping that calf. That calf is gone off the farm within three to five days, absolutely gone. And then someone may buy it and, and grow it for veal, but I'm a farm girl. I lived on a dairy farm. I know what it goes on at a dairy farm. And I'm not here to say that there shouldn't be farms. I'm, I, I'm not opposed to farming. Just be nice to your animals. I have Oscar because I lived on a farm where I saw horrible abuse to animals. And so this is my experience of wanting to, to grow this boy, to be in his presence and feel his energy and his spirit. And that's why I have Oscar. When I got Oscar, we went to an auction sale to look at uh, calves and they were selling uh, three day old calves for 97 cents. 97 cents for the entire calf. That, that's not per pound. And here in Canada, we don't have pennies. So we would just go, sold for a, a loony, which is our dollar. So they were selling these calves for a buck. A buck! 97 cents Canadian. It's like 70 cents American. Yeah, but here's the thing, Chelsea. I had someone say that to me. They said, Shelly, I saw, I, I have a neighbor's calf. They're giving it away. I, I'm going to bring it to the farm. Oscar costs $1,000 a year just to feed. That's just his hay. So actually he costs $20,000, right? Because I'm never, ever going to sell him. I'm not breeding him. I don't get anything from Oscar except that pile of shit. <laughs> Someone asked me, they said, why, why a farmer? They're like, why you do this? Why you not put him in the freezer? Why? Why, why you have grass, dog, animal? Why you do that, woman? Why you do that, woman? And I do it because I, uh, because I can, because I can. Thank you, Kit Kat. I'm, it's probably very selfish, very selfish. Hi, lovely. So now I'm gonna make Oscar a cow chewtery board. So I make him his own board up with all his favorite foods. And then I bring him in for a snack because I can do anything I want. It's my farm. You're not coming in here. You're a runaway sheep. Oh, you're not going to punt. Are they allowed to come in? I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> They found some corn. <laughs> Excuse me. Come on, guys. Come on. They're like kids. Okay, I'm go you know what? I'm going to start the car. Start the car. Start the car. They're not coming.
Okay, we're leaving. Okay, we're leaving without you. Hi, Jimmy, I'm great. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Okay, that's it. Little brats, aren't they? Do people still parent like that? Aw, oh, thank you, uh, Marianne, for that lovely comment. Are there wolves in Nova Scotia? I don't friggin' know. I don't. Oh, my God. I live with complex post-traumatic stress disorder, so please don't mention wolves, bears, uh, rats, snakes. I can't, just... Swear to God. Swear to God. If you're just joining, this is my wellness farm in Nova Scotia, Canada, where there's a sense of calm and peace. Oh, Lori Kay, thank you for the hand heart. Thank you for holding my heart while people try and traumatize me on here. Roger. Roger. If there were lions here, I would have a lion sanctuary. How is Oz? Thank you for the October. Bear tick. I don't, bear tick. <laughs> Calm, peace, and nothing scary. Thank you, Kit Kat. Jen Jen. Chronically chill. I'm chronically chill right now. Thank you. Oh, weeping angel. Thank you for the big hand heart. Where's the dog? You always get what, like you just feel this love and then just all of a sudden a comment. Where's the dog? <laughs> oh, I don't like people. Oh, it's hard to function in the world. He's right there behind you. Man, I wish I was... Oh, it is nice today. There's little Grant. He's our little gay rooster, but maybe he's not. So we call him the little gay rooster because he lives all by himself. He doesn't share the coop with anybody else. He's very much a bachelor. But occasionally, occasionally we see him lunching with the ladies. You're not picking on the pig. You don't pick on Audrey. Cindy, thank you for the corgi. <laughs> Rooster Nova. Oh, hello. Hello, Murian. Muran. You love goats? Yeah, goats are special. Pickles! Do you want to show people our show? Do you want to show them the Shelly and Pickles show? We have a little show. Hello, Shelly. <laughs> Listen to her. Come on, let's do the Shelly and Pickles show. Out! Whoops! I just tripped. Okay. <laughs> Pickles, come on. We are. We've been uh, rehearsing this for three months. Uh, my plan is to take Pickles on the road with me. Uh, we we're hoping to do a North American tour. Uh, we're right down to the choreographic part or whatever they call it, and we're just waiting on music. We're waiting for Taylor Swift to let us use a song off of her new album, Midnight's but she's not responding to any of my messages, which is really rude, really rude. Taylor Swift, she's probably watching this live, drinking Merlot or Burgundy wine. Anyways, Pickles, are you, are you ready? Let's go, come on. 
pickles! No, 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 no! No. No, that's the wrong entrance. That is the wrong entrance. T Taylor's just rude. She's been rude all week. I'm just about ready to unfriend her. Just rude. Okay, let's try the second beat. Are you gonna do the second beat? It's the Pickles and Shelly show. Pickles! Come on, Pickles! Come on, Pickles! Up on the pig's roof! Down the guardrail! And a little bit of treat for you. And he's gonna be the road manager. This is Mark. Mark's gonna be road manager. Come on, Pickles, let's do it again. This is lovely. She's head of HR. Uh, that's Little Bean and Anna, their mom and daughter. This is Puddles. He's trouble. Mork has a lot of issues. Very rude. Look, very, just aggressive. He thinks he, he just, he, that's his chair. This is his life. Thank you, Weeping Angel, for the gifts. Thanks everyone for gifting us. Oh my God, we're number 99. Look at in the daily rating. <coughs> we're number 99. Did you see that? We're 99. We could probably battle someone. Yes, all you gotta do is a makeup tutorial. Mork, Mork, you just need a hat. You don't, you don't even need to really do anything, Mork. Puddles. They're every... They're <laughs> we're 98 in the world. No, we're 99. 99 in the world. Lovely. Get us more likes. Okay, hey, lovely. Do you want to battle someone? We could put a crown on you. You could, you could be, you could have, no, that one didn't work. I see 98. You see 98? I see 99. You guys are all lying to me. Mork's ready to battle. Do you want to battle some 18-year-old uh, boy in his Airbnb? Josh, thank you for the heart. Oh, we went to 91. We're going to win the internet. Just stay like that. Welcome to Taxidermy TikTok. <laughs> yeah, do that. Do that. People love that shit. Talk. Talk, Mork. Okay, use Oscar's voice. We're 87. We're 87. Look at our cheering squad. Look at our cheerleaders. They're... Mark. We're 85. <laughs> Look at her with her mama. Aw, give to the loving family. There's love. Everywhere you go. This is Mork. Mork has <laughs> Mork hasn't eaten in three months. Mork, suck your gut in. Mork, suck your gut in. Mork was found on the side of the road, recently abandoned by his family. He's been living here quietly. He's he's he can't move from the waist down, the neck down. He was hit by a donkey on a farm in Tobia. Thank you, Weeping Angel. 70, this is working. Uh, Mark has been abandoned by his family and is suffering from depression. <laughs> I want to be a cowboy. <laughs> Look at this boxing. We're... Mark is currently experiencing deep bouts of depression and anxiety. 
and has his own anxiety dog. We have a anxiety dog for Mork to help him through this difficult time. Lovely, don't look at me like that. Lovely, just play along with it. Lovely was found in the forest, huddled beneath a pile of rocks. She was malnutritioned and couldn't breathe. We gave her mouth to mouth and slowly she came back to life. <laughs> she is now very attached to me and requires that she is in my presence at all times. <clears throat> I'm winning the internet, honey. You are. Yeah, I am. This is my husband. He lost one of his arms. Hide your arm. Hide your He lost one of his arms uh, four years ago in a farming... Accident. <laughs> I'll just stick it under <laughs> Oh. Don't sh <laughs> this is Pickles. Pickles requires hearing aids because he just doesn't hear things. We are planning to get hearing aids so that he can be more involved. <laughs> if anybody... <laughs> This is Puddles. Puddles has some um, electrolysis. He requires a bit of electrolysis. And what else? What else, guys? What else? Get up on the chair. Get up on the chair. Go up here. Oh, there's the, the, Oscar, oh, he's gone. Oscar's gone. If we can get 10, up to 50,000 likes, if we can get 50,000 likes, we're gonna bring in Oscar. We're gonna bring in Oscar. If y'all tap your screen, Oscar. Where are you? Oscar! <gasps> there you are. Do you want to come in? Can we make a cow tutoring board? My husband lets me do everything. Do you guys want to make a cow tutoring board? Look at my husband. All he does is clean up shit all day long. That's all he does. Leaf blowing. How am I? Hi, Danielle. I'm great today. I'm in a good mood. Our guests that are supposed to arrive at three messaged and said they won't be here till five. And I don't know, for some reason when people like are gonna be late, I love it. I just like, oh, good. Where do we live? We're in Nova Scotia, Canada. So you've got, I want all these leaves here um, raked. So I, I want all of this so there's no leaves. Can you imagine asking my... <laughs> 50K, we got to bring in Oscar. Okay. I'll get them. I got to bring all the other animal out first. Okay, I know I'm at 50K. Quit yelling at me. I'm going as fast. I didn't know you guys were going to be so nice. I thought you were all a bunch of idiots, but you're, you're nice people today. See, we're having a good day. 
Let's go. Check, check, check. Thank you for the roses. Leave Milo out here too. Stay him out. Good boy. He's gonna need a bigger rake. <laughs> I know it wouldn't be nice. I one day I hope like John Deere or like some tractor company like says, oh wow, look at all the people that watch them. We're gonna sponsor them. Because I'm telling you, if we had a tractor, I'd never have to see my husband again. <laughs> charcuterie board so Jason made me a cow charcuterie board and we're going to fill it up with all of Oscar's favorite things can we make a corn roll um what do we have this, we don't have anything to stick it on with is that what you mean well we'll just put corn and then fold it over roll it up so I'm making corn, corn, what would I call these? Burritos. These are corn burritos for Oscar. Everything is freshly made in-house. Um, Oscar, I am his personal chef. If you're just tuning in, uh, you are watching a woman with a midlife crisis. This is bit of that a little bit of rye bread I like rye bread for the and he just loves this part we call this the heel and we just spread that out get a little bit of Oscar his favorite food oh, look what I found his favorite crackers Then we've got orange slices. Carrots. I, you gotta put them on, so. We like to put some carrots. Uh, if you are interested in a cow chewtery board, put this over here. These are corn pops. One of his favorite little snacks. I'm gonna keep these for the chicken. And then we got. Okay, I got the corn pops and that's about it today now this changes every um, every time we do one of these <laughs> yeah If you are enjoying this, if you tap your screen, it'll um, send all the hearts up and other people on TikTok will be notified. Or I think we go in the in the uh, For You page. Are you ready? Are you ready? This is for Oscar. Oscar's having a cow charcuterie board. It's oranges, carrots, crackers, corn, rye bread. Beef mash or something? Oh my gosh, here he comes. Oscar! Oh, that burrito got eaten quick. Thank you for all the hard He's looking at me. I can smell the corn pops and oranges. So this is him in, in the barn having his cow charcuterie board. Thank you for the popcorn. We're number 64. 
We're number 64 in the world right now. How cool is that? Oscar, I want to be a cowboy. Jelly Bean, thank you for the Octobers. Oh. He's got that orange. He's got that orange. I thought it was Oh, he's got that orange. He loves oranges. Thank you, Josh, for the bubble tea. I'm so glad that so many of you are joining us and enjoying these lives. And I just want to say to those that are the silent watchers, thank you for the jelly bean. Um, we really appreciate your good energy. Jason's going to move it in so that he comes, in. he comes inside of his... Thank you, sir. Can we uh, make a little bit up for the, just a couple of scoops of, oh, you know what we forgot to give them? Terrible. Oats. Can we make one up for the, oh, we'll do a little picnic table for them? Yeah. <laughs> Someone sent us this. Is this not amazing? It's a little, a little scoop. hey, well, how about we find the chickens? And take the corn pops. I want a chicken picnic. We gotta see where the chickens We are. gotta find the chickens. Maybe later. <laughs> we, we can't find, there's not a chicken to be seen. That's weird. There's not a chicken to be seen. Look at, oh my gosh, guys. Look at that nose under there. Do you know who that is? <laughs> Does somebody want in the barn? <laughs> I can't make this up. I can't make it up. It's Milo. <laughs> oh my God. He's like, you left me out here with all these animals. Oh, Milo. All right. What do we got? Who? Okay. Who's coming in for that? Done. Okay. Are you ready to, <laughs> are you ready to rumble? Okay. What is that place called? The Golden Corral? The Golden Corral's open. If you have a ticket, single file, please. Single file. File? Out of there. Single file, please. Please get... Are you a family? Nobody's checked in. I need a credit card. I need a credit card. Mark's being a j jerk. He just growled. He just growled. Ow! <coughs> this is my family when we go to like Ponderosa in the 70s. This is my family. This is my family when they're like, all right, chicken, chicken wings are out. This is crab legs. crab legs. We're bringing out the crab legs. They're like piranhas. It looks like it's guys. Oh, who's the black one? That's Mork. He's just... He's a jerk. He's, an, he's just the uncle you don't want showing up at the wedding. But he's got a bit of money, so you invite him because you know you're going to be able <laughs> to buy a fridge or something. You know that uncle? Yeah. It's like, invite him. You know he's going to get drunk and put a ton of cash in an envelope. That's Mark. 
Now he's gonna have a nice big drink. All right, everybody's done well. Thank you so much for putting us at number 54 on the billboards of TikTok. Uncle Mork. It's Uncle Mork. The uncle that you don't want to come to your reunion. I've been writing a lot of songs lately. <laughs> yes, I have, lovely. And uh, probably going to do an album uh, called... Well, I'm still working on the title. I have a hair in my mouth and it is not my own hair. I don't know what kind of hair it is. Hi, sweetheart. Hello. Are you coming on my lap? Okay. Yeah, that's a hard, hard morning having to eat all that. Are you leaving? Okay. Why are you leaving? Because Uncle Mark's here. Don't pick on the babies. Hey, hey, <gasps> Look hey. at her, letting the cow out. Get out of there. She has let Oscar out before. Me and Taylor Swift should do an al album together. Too heavy. All right, friends. Well, that was a nice uh, visit with y'all. I'm going to go in and make myself a cup of coffee and catch up on my emails and send my messages because I Jay and I run a bed and breakfast here. So a lot of people wonder, how, how can you afford to just sit on your ass and, and make charcuterie boards for animals? I come out here a couple of times a day just to enjoy the company of the animals and the playfulness of them and uh, the way that Jason and I are allowed the privilege of doing this is we have our bed and breakfast and people come and visit the animals, they bring them treats, they don't, she does not need more treats. And then we spend all our money here. And then we just take all the money that people give us give and we us. spend it here. We just, you know, some people have like, go through a midlife crisis and they get a bow. Corvette. <laughs> what? Or Jason's like, or maybe they get a Corvette, a motorcycle. We've got goats. I get a pig. <laughs> you know, don't talk about me like that. Rude. Rude. You Don't you enjoy this, hon? I love it. He loves it. See, we love this. It's a, it's a joy. Get out of my face. I've done it every day for five years. Oh, no, I got sick one day. I highly recommend um, just changing your life at any moment. I, I highly recommend it. Jason and I moved from downtown Toronto. And... I was working as a comedian, actor, Producer. like starving artist, basically. And I was producing shows. And, and I mean, in that industry, it's just all over the place. But it's fun. It's exciting. It was a wonderful life. And Jason is a contractor by trade. So he was able to make the transition here. Because when we moved here, this barn had been sitting empty for 10 years. There was, there was not even a mouse in it. How do you like it in Nova Scotia? I, I, we had traveled all over Canada. We had lived in even England for almost a year. We've been around the world. Well, not like around the world, but all over the world. And it's the most beautiful place I've ever been. We, now saying that, we'll likely, you know, when we're a little older, We'll probably want to visit somewhere warm in the winter. <laughs> it's a long winter. We get about five months of solid winter. 
So today it's 20 degrees Celsius, which is like 70 something, I don't know. So you are a comedian. Yes, I am. I have been nominated as best female stand-up in Canada. I am the only female in Canada to perform at the Amsterdam Comedy Festival. I wrote a one-woman play that was nominated as best one-person play in Canada. I love Canada. Canada's just, just beautiful. Beautiful, gentle living. Yeah, and you know what? I didn't step on a stage until I was 37 years old. I never even, never knew anything. I just, my whole life, I dreamed that one day I wanted to do stand up and be a performer. And uh, I went through a really, really awful, awful depression. Um, the depression was so bad. I, I was hospitalized for a month. I, um, I almost lost my life. Uh, so when I came out of that, and I didn't immediately come out of it, I, I came home from the hospital and still remained quite depressed. But there was something that clicked. There was something that clicked in my mind that said, if, I, if I'm not going to leave this life, then I have to live my very, very best life. I just have, I, I have to. And so I booked myself to go on stage in Niagara Falls, Canada. And I waited three months. The waiting list was three months to perform. And I stepped up on stage and the light hit me in the face. And I said, oh my God, it feels like I'm, I'm gonna get a pap smear up here. What is with the light? Why is the light so bright? And the audience laughed. Oh, <gasps> the laughter. And I went, that, that is what I have been craving, is laughter. And then the club owner said, hey, we really liked you. Do you want to come and come out next Friday night? We'll give you 10 bucks and a bottle of beer. You come out, you do five minutes. Five minutes. And so I did. I, I went up on stage and I did five minutes. I said, I have two children. Both of them are gay. This is not my uterus. It's my fruit basket. <laughs> and I was just so funny. I was just so funny. And then a talent agent saw me and I got to tour all across Canada. And I got to play to like thousands, like thousands of people. I stood on stage in front of three, I don't know, thousands. It was just incredible. And then I got a green card to go to England. Where's Robbie? Oh, I'm sorry, is my story boring you? Sorry. Okay, I'll just stop now. Come on, Milo. Somebody wants Robbie. It's just getting too high on myself. It's okay. No, it's okay, I'll stop. I don't need you people. You know what? I'm, I just, I, now I'm triggered. I'm just being funny. Um, anyways, I am going to go in the house. I love you all. Even the mean ones. Even the dicks. Even the jerks that come on here and say they want to eat Oscar or make lamb chops instead of lovely. I love you all. You all make me think. Y'all make me be kinder in this world. Bye, my darlings. Thank you for the finger heart.